Nice job by St. John's bottling up Wiggins. Hans quick release. It's good. And a second, second three for St. John's. It's a three-point lead. Yeah, that's the quick action that St. John's will look for. But St. John's has a lot of perimeter players who can put it on the deck and go by it. So it's got to be a cautious defensive effort. Turner. Wow, where are you going? And the steal for Figueroa, ahead for Pons. Nice pass back for Figueroa, who lays it in. You know, Pons was ahead of the crowd just then, if you noticed, and the ball was thrown a little behind him. <laughs> Lillard for three. So all of a sudden, St. John's giving up a couple of shots. St. John's is struggling. Since their 7-10 start, 0-7. to Here's Heron on the step back. Got an aggressive style to him, doesn't he? Look at the score. Simon into the lane. Off the mark, rebound Sierra. Laster, a defensive presence just there. Just stepping in the way, a little bit of traffic. Plowden left open for three and hits. Daquan Plowden, just like that. Bowling Green is starting to get a little more rhythm at the offensive end. Clark again from three. Marvin Clark has had a terrific first half. Fry tried to use the shake move. You should know who Dick Barnett is. You're way too young for that. My introduction to basketball. <laughs> I'm old, actually. There you go. <laughs> you just you gave it up, not me. <laughs> Left alone is Turner, and he hits the three. Oh, a nice work on the perimeter, too. All of a sudden allows you to get those free free looks from outside. Simon from three, and they'll give him that shot as yeah, Lillard pulls it down. Yeah, Wiggins was defending him, but about four feet away from him. Good Try spot. with an open look. Another spot up. And hits. And Bowling Green back in front after Dylan Fry's three-pointer. It's their first lead since early on when it was five to two. Simon for Heron for three, and Heron with a big shot right there. He has 13 in this first half. Does Bowling Green continue to probe and be confident with the basketball? Nice luck. Turner gets a wide open three and hits. A oh, good spot up, good drive from the left side of the floor, really making it happen. Pons working on Fry, gets the step, and short, rebounded by Turner. So now Pons two for five. On the night, looking to find the rhythm. Fry has done his homework, too, on Pons. He understands he kind of goes up the ladder a little bit. Another and three for Turner. He has 18. And quickly, Chris Mullen calls timeout. And Trimble hits the deck, recovers. The open look is good as Lillard knocks it down. Yeah, that screen in the backcourt. You need help from somewhere. Clark bringing Uju way out and taking him with the left hand. Oh, follow by Figueroa. Nobody blocked him out and he snuck in for the dunk. Been leaning a touch. Try going a little too fast for himself. Here's Pons and he'll go to the line. Looking to get himself on track. As I mentioned about a minute ago, he was posted up by getting the defender to go away from them. Pons for three this time, and it hits. Shamori Pons, what a second half it has been. And he has 20 as Michael Huger calls for time with 2.32 left. Boy, the ability to take over a game in about a five-minute stress. Just remarkable for St. John's and Pons. There's the foul. Simon gets it across. And the turnover. Uh, he's supposed to stop at the 30-foot mark just then. No, you don't need to be dribbling it that much. Lillard quickly to the basket. Hangs, gets the bucket, and the foul. Very nicely done by Antoine Lillard. And Bowling Green still very much in this with 44 and 5 tenths left. Miss or make it, off they go. And around and out. But Wiggins was unsure. Wow. Heron with the steal. And he was fouled by Fry. Did that work to St. John's advantage a little right there? Because the clock starts, and Fry just commits his fifth right there, but Wiggins' indecision took a couple of seconds off and forced him into the bad pass.